Samsung has been working hard to add a blood sugar monitoring feature to its wearable devices and it looks like they're about to succeed. A recent report from South Korea suggests that the upcoming Galaxy Watch 7 will have this groundbreaking feature. As I mentioned earlier, the Galaxy Watch 7 is set to be revealed on July 10, 2024, so people are getting pretty excited about it. Han Pak, the vice president and head of digital healthcare at Samsung Electronics, has been openly discussing the company's dedication to achieving non-invasive blood sugar monitoring. Earlier this year, he mentioned that Samsung was investing a lot in this technology. Recently, Pak met with the advisory board members of the Samsung Health Platform to talk about blood sugar monitoring, diabetes, and how to integrate AI into Samsung Health. Now, all signs indicate that the upcoming Galaxy Watch 7 series will indeed have blood sugar monitoring. However, because of regulatory concerns, Samsung might classify the smartwatch as an electronic device rather than a medical one. Additionally, there's a chance this feature could also be available on the Samsung Galaxy Ring, their first smart ring expected to launch later this year. We'll have to wait to find out if Samsung decides to reserve some advanced features for the second version of the smart ring. Exciting times are ahead for Samsung and its wearable technology. It seems Samsung is shifting away from the rumors about the Watch 7 Pro and focusing on a new smartwatch called the Galaxy Watch Ultra. While the future of the Watch 7 Pro is uncertain, one thing is clear, Samsung will be launching the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Previously, there were leaks about the battery size of the Watch 7 Pro, but now it looks like Samsung might go with the Watch Ultra instead. We're expecting the release of three new watches, the Watch 7, Watch 7 Classic, and Watch Ultra. Reports suggested a larger 578 mAh battery for a new Galaxy Watch. Despite initial expectations for three models, Samsung might skip the Classic version, similar to what was done with the Watch 5 series. The database shows three different model numbers, SML705U and N and F for the upcoming Galaxy Watch Ultra, representing the US, Korea, and global markets. The Watch Ultra is getting ready for its official launch in different regions. Meanwhile, the Galaxy Watch Fan Edition is expected to have features similar to the Galaxy Watch 4 from 2021, which has shown to be durable even in 2024. It's nice to see Samsung offering a more affordable watch option, understanding that not everyone can afford a high-end smartwatch. Premium smartwatches often cost as much as a mid-range Android smartphone. It's a smart move for companies to offer budget-friendly options. Samsung is getting ready to launch the Samsung Galaxy Watch Fan Edition soon. This follows Apple's lead, who recently introduced the Apple Watch Ultra and Apple Watch SE. The Watch FE from Samsung will be a more affordable choice compared to the Watch Ultra. In our previous videos about the Galaxy Watch FE, we mentioned that it will be available in specific models for the US, Korea, and other markets. This watch is expected to have some features similar to the highly praised Galaxy Watch 4 from 2021. Phones and smartwatches have definitely made our lives easier, especially for fitness enthusiasts who like to track their activities. However, smartwatches often come with high prices. That's why Samsung's choice to offer the Watch FE as an alternative to the Watch Ultra is a commendable move. While we don't have the exact technical specifications for both watches yet, we can expect there to be significant differences between the two. Samsung might wow us this year with a super advanced smartwatch. The Watch Ultra could have advanced sensors for more accurate workout tracking, like better data while swimming because it can handle water pressure better. It might also offer more precise GPS tracking. Plus, the Watch Ultra is expected to have a way better battery life because Samsung plans to put a much bigger battery in it than ever before in their next smartwatch. With all these certifications and rumors swirling around, it's clear that Samsung's upcoming Galaxy Unpacked event in July will be one to watch, especially for smartwatch fans. While these certifications might not reveal much about the Galaxy Watch 7 series, previous leaks have given us some clues about what to expect. Samsung is rumored to be outfitting the watches with a new processor, the Exynos W940. This chip is said to be based on a 3 nanometers design, offering 50% more efficiency and 30% faster speeds compared to the Exynos W930 found in the Galaxy Watch 6 series. Samsung has been making some intriguing decisions regarding the processors in their Galaxy Watches. They began with the Exynos Exynos 9110 for the first three models, then moved to the Exynos W920 for the next two, and finally settled on the Exynos W930 for the Watch 6. Initially, we thought Samsung would stick to this pattern and use the Exynos W930 for the Watch 7 too. However, recent reports suggest there might be a surprising upgrade in store. According to a Korean news outlet, the Galaxy Watch 7 might come with the Exynos W940, a 3 nanometers chip that offers big improvements in power consumption, performance, and size reduction. 
production. This rumor was backed up by tipster Roland Quan, who said the chip might be called Exynos 5535 internally but will probably be named W940 for the official launch. Given Samsung's focus on AI processing this year, it's worth wondering if this chip upgrade will also bring any improvements to the NPU. At this point, it's all just speculation. However, one thing we can expect is that the Watch 7 will probably have the same 2GB of RAM as its predecessor. Additionally, Samsung is bumping up the internal storage capacity from 16GB to 32GB on the Galaxy Watch 7. There won't be an option for external storage expansion, but this upgrade will let users store more files on their smartwatches. This will be especially handy for folks who like listening to music during workouts or morning runs as they can now store more tracks on their watch and leave their phones behind. Looking at Samsung's past patterns with the Galaxy Watch series, we can make some educated guesses about what to expect from the Watch 7. The standard version will likely stick with an aluminum build, while a potential Watch 7 Classic or Watch 7 Pro might offer stainless steel or titanium options. All models should keep the military standard rating for shock resistance and the IP68 dust and water resistance. In terms of health features, we can expect the return of the bioactive sensor for heart rate monitoring, ECG readings, and body composition analysis. Additionally, blood oxygen and temperature readings for sleep tracking should make a comeback. While Samsung is working on non-invasive blood glucose monitoring, it's unlikely to be ready for implementation in the Watch 7. Apart from the expected features, it's uncertain what new health technologies Samsung might introduce. However, we can expect the Watch 7 to come with Samsung's wireless charging Puck, offering fast charging speeds of at least 10 watts as the launch of the Galaxy Watch 7 and Galaxy Ring approaches, we eagerly anticipate learning more about these remarkable health features. Furthermore, there have been whispers that Samsung will transition to Wear OS 5 in 2024. Although we don't know the details about its improvements over Wear OS 4 yet, Samsung usually reveals its watches and foldables together. So, it's likely we'll see them together in July at the earliest. Stay tuned for more leaks and rumors about the Galaxy Watch 7 series in the days to come. What are you hoping to see in the upcoming Galaxy Watch lineup? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Until next time, take care and peace out.